Howdy guys, bringing you uh, another little thrift haul video into your sub box. Um, today we have items from Unique Thrift as well as Savers uh, and from Walgreens. So uh, let's get going. First off, some couple Hot Wheels. So I got this Halloween 2016 version of the Diora 2. Uh, I really, you know, Diora 2 is a really cool casting to collect. So um, I always pick these up when I find it. I was happy to find this at Walgreens. Uh, there went Luke Skywalker. Uh, next we have the Carbonator, which is a really neat little uh, car if you ask me. It's a soda bottle racer and the back of it uh, doubles as a bottle opener, which is pretty cool. So I was glad to find this at Walgreens as well and add it to my collection. Um, after that we have this Star Wars Jabba the Hutt. And man, let me tell you, uh, you know, if you don't collect the Star Wars character cards, you wouldn't know this, but Jabba the Hutt is one of the hardest ones to find. So I was super duper excited uh, whenever I saw Jabba the Hutt. And the best part was, is that he was on clearance for a dollar. So these guys usually go for $3.99, so I was happy to get pretty much the rarest, or one of the rarest ones for a uh, dollar. Um, these guys go anywhere from $20 to $30 to $40 on eBay. Um, mine is not going to eBay, it's going to my collection, so I'm very, very happy to to uh, get this. Um, next up, we have uh, a couple of finds from uh, Savers, I think. So we got this book, Patient Zero. Um, I don't know anything about it, but it sounds like a kind of neat zombie book, and it was like a dollar or whatever. So, and they usually don't have books that are this this new um, at the thrift store. So I picked it up. You know, we'll see if it's any good. I got this other book at the thrift store a while back, um, based solely on the cover alone. Skyfall. Look at that. It's like a giant nuclear explosion. Lady screaming on the cover. Uh, I picked this up at the thrift store the other day, but it's really not that good of a book. I about 50 pages into it or whatever, and it's just just not uh, not good. So um, I have higher hopes for this one. We'll see. Um, I also found this cool Nintendo GameCube preview disc um, with five playable demos, including Sonic Adventure DX, Splinter Cell, Beautiful Joe, Billy Hatcher, and Soul Calibur. And this is pretty cool, man. I mean... You can see the price there, $2.99. You know, I've never seen this before. Uh, I looked it up online, and it's, you know, worth like 10 bucks or whatever. But I just picked it up because it's something I've never seen before, and it's pretty cool. There's no manual. I don't know if it came with a manual, but you can see there, preview disc. Um, and then next up, we have a bag of Hot Wheels that I got from Unique for $5.99. And you may be asking yourself, like, great, there's nothing special about this bag of Hot Wheels, but oh, there is. And you have to look closely in order to see it, and I'm glad I caught it, but that's it right there. So let me open up the bag. Um, when I was at the thrift store uh, finding this, there was a ton. Like, some kid must have brought in uh, their whole Hot Wheels collection. Um, and I, I think I found the gem of the lot. This one is also pretty cool. Matchbox Motorsports. What does it say? Uh, 4x4 Chevy van. So that's pretty cool. Um, we got some cheap, you know, crap. Uh, this is Matchbox. You know, we got, looks like a Porsche police car. We got a little tank. Oh, it's Matchbox. I didn't think it would be. Got this, looks like a MISO, maybe. Uh, garbage, school bus, uh, I don't know. Hot Wheels up front, oh that's cool. This is older than I thought it would be. So we got Hot Wheels up front, 924, so it's just a Porsche 924. Uh, and you can see the date, 1978. So that's a good find. I love old Hot Wheels. Um, next we got this, I don't know, I don't know, missing pieces, I uh, don't know, this is kind of cool, it's a little Porsche, the body's metal, so that's cool, and then last up is the find, 
this is a silhouette red line. So you can see on the bottom there it says Hot Wheels Silhouette 1967 Mattel. There you go. Now that is super duper cool. This is my first red line find and a silhouette is actually my favorite casting from the original uh, red lines and it's got all four wheels it's not missing any parts um, you know so overall very excited it's in pretty good shape you know it's a little little paint chipped it's been played with uh, but check that out very cool and it's got the the suspension wheels that they used to have back then <laughs> so I was super duper stoked whenever I found this this car um, you know I don't know how much it's worth it it really just depends all on condition but um, I would certainly pay the $5.99 or whatever I paid for this all day long for this car. So that's very, very good. Um, let's see, where's that other old one? Oh yeah, it's this one. So we got those. Uh, and the Matchbox van is pretty cool. He doesn't roll away. Um, and then finally, you guys aren't going to believe this, but I found another Grail find. And I'm just going to bring you over to it right now. So here we go. Look at that another white tiger zord how about that you can see here this is the one that i showed in the other video with the thunder zord assault team attached to it and i found this how crazy is that 399 this guy is kind of dirty he's beat up you can see the gold up there it's all rubbed off um this guy's definitely in better shape but i picked this one up because he has this white crown piece, albeit a little ding right there, but mine is missing that whole piece. So I'm going to be removing it from this guy and putting it on this guy. And then after that, um, you know, this guy's going to be up for grabs. I'll see maybe about selling it online or on Craigslist or something like that. Um, just to get in the hands of another collector because this is a really, really cool toy. Um, no batteries, um, you know, light bulb. It's really dusty and dirty. It has the battery cover, which is good. Still missing the side orbs like mine is. Um, the stickers, some places look good. Other places, like on the back, completely missing. It's also missing these stickers here, which you can see on mine are a little, a little rough. So... I was super, super pumped to find that. I could not believe it. I actually also found another Zord that I will put a picture in right now. And I didn't pick this one up. It was $2.99. Um, I don't know. It just wasn't posable. It didn't really do anything. I don't know. It wasn't that cool. So I didn't pick it up. But so that's all I got. This is a little bit of a lighter thrift haul. But... As I keep making them, I will keep bringing them to you guys. So keep watching. Make sure to subscribe for more so you don't miss any videos. I've been doing some toy reviews. I've been doing comic book hauls. And uh, as soon as my My Toy Box, or I guess your toy box, comes in for this month, I will review that as well. So thanks for watching. Um, you can see I kind of upgraded my camera equipment a little bit. So the video should be much, much better. So let me know. If you can tell the difference, uh, leave a comment if you think any of this stuff is cool. If you want to see more, leave a like. Thanks. Bye.